Are you fascinated by the design and engineering of an aircraft? Do you ever wonder why some planes have two propellers rotating in the opposite directions? In this video, we will be discussing the purpose of contra-rotating propellers on an aircraft. We will explore how they allow for more efficient use of engine power and reduce the torque effects of high-powered piston engines. We will also take a look at some examples of successful aircraft that have used this configuration. So buckle up and join us on this journey of discovery. The primary advantage of contra-rotating propellers is that they allow for more efficient use of engine power. Let's dive deeper into this concept. When an aircraft is at low speeds, the airflow around the propeller is disruptive, creating a rotational airflow. With a single propeller, this rotational airflow is wasted, reducing the efficiency of the propeller. However, with contra-rotating propellers, the second propeller takes advantage of this disrupted airflow and uses it to produce more thrust. This results in better performance and less energy loss. Moreover, the use of contra-rotating propellers cancel out some of the side effects of operating with a single propeller, such as torque and slipstream effect. Another benefit of contra-rotating propeller is the increase in solidity ratio, which is all about power absorption. Essentially, the more blades on a propeller, the more power it can absorb. Contra-rotating propellers also contract the effects of gyroscopic precision and remove the square from the pattern. In fact, studies have shown that the contra-rotating propellers are 6% to 16% more efficient than conventional propellers. As a result, they have been extensively used in military aircraft such as the Tupolev Tu-95. However, there are some downsides to this technology as well, such as the addition of gears to rotate the propeller in opposite directions and the potential of noise generated by the interaction between the two propellers. Another variation of this technology is the coaxial propeller, which is driven by two separate engines. Now, coaxial propellers are two propellers mounted on the same axis, with one on top of the other, rotating in the same direction. They are used in helicopters to eliminate the need for a tail rotor, which counters the torque of the main rotor. Coaxial propellers also provide increased lift and stability allowing for more maneuverability in confined spaces. However, they may require more complex control systems and have higher maintenance costs. The interaction between the two propellers in a contra-rotating propeller system can generate a significant amount of noise which can be a problem for passengers and people on the ground. This noise is caused by the turbulent flow of air created by the front propeller, which impacts the rear propeller and creates pressure fluctuations and vibrations. To address this issue, modern aircraft with contra-rotating propellers use a variety of techniques to reduce noise. One approach is to use advanced design software and wind tunnel testing to optimize the shape of the blades and the space between the two propellers. This can help to reduce the turbulence and pressure fluctuations that cause noise. Another approach is to use active noise control technology, which involves using sensors and speakers to detect and cancel out noise in real time. This technology is already used in some commercial airlines to reduce engine noise and it could be applied to contra-rotating propeller systems as well. Additionally, modern aircraft use material and construction techniques that help to dampen noise and vibration. For example, composite materials can be used to create lighter and more rigid propeller blades which can reduce noise and improve efficiency. Overall, while noise is a potential issue with contra-rotating propellers, Modern aircraft design have a range of tools and techniques at their disposal to minimize it and provide a more comfortable and pleasant flying experience for passengers and people on the ground. Contra-rotating propellers have found applications beyond aircraft as well. In helicopter rotors, the use of contra-rotating blades eliminates the need for a tail rotor and improves stability. In marine propulsion system, they provide higher efficiency and better maneuverability. In wind turbines, they increase power output and reduce noise level. Overall, contra-rotating propellers have become a popular technology in many fields due to their ability to increase efficiency and reduce unwanted effects. In summary, while both configurations involve multiple propellers on an aircraft, the difference between contra-rotating and coaxial propellers lies in their rotational direction and application. The United Kingdom and the Soviet Union were the pioneers in the production of contra-rotating propeller aircrafts. Some of the most successful British aircraft with contra-rotating propellers are the Avro Shackleton, driven by the Rolls-Royce Griffin engine, and the Ferry Gannett, which uses the double Mamba MK101 engine. 
This engine has two separate power sections, each driving one propeller, which allows for one power section to be shut down in flight, increasing the aircraft's endurance. The NK-12 turboprop developed by the Kuznetsov Design Bureau can drive an eight-blade counter-rotating propeller, making it one of the most powerful turboprop engines in the world. Additionally, the Antonov AN-70 aircraft is powered by four Progress D-27 prop fan engines, each of which has a counter-rotating propeller. Here are some other examples of some aircraft with counter-rotating propellers. That's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed learning about the process of counter rotating propellers on an aircraft. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos on aviation and technology. Thank you for watching.